Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how to get emails from Outlook and how to get the data of each email retrieval in Power Automate Desktop. The first thing that our automation should do is get the emails from our Outlook account that it's open here on our Outlook application. So for that, let's go here to Outlook. So here, let's click or just search here on the actions for Outlook. And then will appear actions related to Outlook. And the one that we'll need to use to get emails from our inbox, from our Outlook account, will be this one. Retrieve email message from an Outlook account. So, if we drag this action to our automation, you will see that it's required to select an Outlook instance. And if you click here, you can see that we don't have any Outlook instance. So, to create an Outlook instance, let's click here on Cancel and we'll need to use this action, Launch Outlook. So let's drag this action to our automation. And so you can see that it's created a new Outlook instance with this action. So you can see here the name of the instance. So let's click on Save. And now let's drag again our action Retrieve Email Message from an Outlook account. So let's drag it after the action launch Outlook and then you'll see that it's already selected the Outlook instance. So now we need to indicate the account that we want to work with. So you just need to input here uh, the email address of the account that appears here. So this email address. So we can store this email address in one variable or input here directly. So in this case, to be more simple, let's input here directly the email address that appears here. So let's input here. And now we have to indicate the name of the mail folder to retrieve message from. So in my case, the name of the folder, it's inbox. In your case, if you have another language here on Outlook can be another. So I'll put here inbox. And now here on retrieve, we can select if we want to get all email message from the folder unread email message only or read email message only. In this case, let's select this option, unread email message only. And then here on the parameter mark as read, if you let this option set to true, the retrieved emails will be marked as read. If you set this option to false, then the retrieved emails that are unread will not be marked as read. So let's select this option to true. And now here on these four parameters, we can filter the emails. So in this one, we can filter the emails by the senders. In this one, we can filter the emails by the recipients. Here on subject contains, we can filter the emails by subject. So if we set here the word Amazon, we will just get emails that contains in the subject the word Amazon. And here on body, so we can uh, filter emails by the body. So Let's leave these uh, four parameters empty. And now here on attachments, we can uh, select if we want to save some attachment or not. So in our case, the emails will not have attachments. So let's let this option selected. And now you can see here that we'll be created a variable that will contain a list of Outlook message objects. So basically, this variable will get, so will store all emails retrieved from this action. So now let's click on save. And now if you click on run, you'll see that uh, basically happens nothing. So basically now we need to iterate each email so we can see, uh, get the data from each email. And then we can work to move each email to certain folders. And now if you click on run, you'll see that basically happens nothing. So we need to iterate each email from this variable to get... So first to iterate each email retrieved, so we have access to all emails retrieved with this variable. So this variable is basically a list of emails. And so to iterate a list, we need to use a loop. So we'll need to use a for each action. So let's go here to actions and let's search for for each. And then let's drag this action after the action retrieve email message from Outlook. And now here on value to iterate, let's select the list of Outlook email message variables. So 
let's do double click. And so we'll be produced a variable uh, with the name current item. And so with this variable, we'll have access to each email iterated on the loop. So let's click on save. And now at this moment, we'll be iterated each email retrieved on this for each loop. Now let's learn how to get the data of each email iterated. So uh, to see uh, the data of each email, let's first drag a display message action and let's drag it inside the for each loop so uh, to see the data of each email iterated. So now here on message to display, let's type here sender and now let's learn how to get the sender of the email. So let's do here a white space and now let's click here to get uh, to select a variable. And now if we go here to current item, let's click here on this option. And now we can see here uh, data related to the emails. So you can see the here that we can get the body, body text, date, subject, the recipients, uh, the sender. So to get the sender, let's select here the option from. So let's do double click. And by this way, we'll get the email sender. So now let's do here enter. And now let's type here subject. And now let's do a white space. Let's go here to select a variable. Let's open here the options. And now let's select here the option subject. So let's click here on the option subject. And now uh, to get the body, so let's do another enter. And now let's type here body. And now let's select here the body. So let's click here on current item. And now let's select here the body. So where it is, so it's here. So let's select the body. And now let's save and let's run our automation to see how it's working. So now let's click on run. And you can see that nothing happened. And why? Because in the last lecture, we executed our automation and it in the final here, as you can see here on the action, retrieve email message from Outlook, we set here this option to true. And so these uh, emails, the emails retrieved, were marked as read. And so because we select here on the retrieve and read email message only, we just get a read email message. And so you can see here on my Outlook that all emails are marked as read. So let's mark each one as unread. So let's do right click on the email and let's click here on the option mark as unread and let's do this to all emails. And now let's go to our automation and let's execute it again. So let's click on run. And now we can see that we are getting the data from one email. So if you go here to Outlook, we can see that we are getting the data from this email. And now if you click here on OK, you'll see that we are getting the data from this email. And then if you click on OK again, we'll get so the data from this one. So let's click on OK again. So we can see that we are getting the data with success from each email iterated. So each email here on the inbox. And now the automation finished its execution. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RP related videos. Bye bye.